Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here. IndyCar, first race of the year on an oval. This should be interesting. It's the first race that I'm doing on an oval in the brand new IR18, and we are here at Phoenix Motor Speedway in Arizona for what will be a 90 lap dash to the finish. It is the IndyCar Fix Series. For those that run iRacing, they'll know what that is. For those that don't, uh, the IndyCar Fix Series means that everyone basically has the same setup you can't create your own setup it only runs on ovals as well but we're just going to sort of use it as uh, a re recreation of last weekend's phoenix grand prix in the indycar so without any further ado we'll get straight into today's action we are car number one in top split of only two splits as you can see there's not too many cars only 14 out of the possible 26 so it's a pretty small field unfortunately it only just split but we've got a a couple of big names in here, a couple of pro drivers on the roadside, so it'll be interesting to see how we go. Alright, so just about to head out for qualifying now. One thing I just want to point out before we get into today's race again is I have done absolutely zero practice. I did like 10 minutes of practice for this race. I've been so busy doing the IndyCar on the road course side of things. We're actually at Sebring this week on the road course, which I'll be uploading uh, in a bit here. Or it's if not, it's already uploaded. I'm not sure which way around. <laughs> I'm going to be definitely check that out. That's definitely going to be an awesome race. We are in the broadcast race for that one. So it is broadcasted on iRacing Live and Race Spot for the world to see. And hopefully we can get a decent result like we did at Laguna. I felt like we possibly could have won at Laguna, but I just never quite got the move done when I tried to take third. And unfortunately, we went back a little bit. But here we go, qualifying. I have no idea where I'm going to put this thing. Just sort of try and keep it out the fence, I suppose. Here we go. Okay, here comes your first time black. A little bit soft through turn one. Off through turn two. We'll take the bank lap though. Oh my gosh, I missed the apex by a half a mile and we are in the fence. <laughs> uh, far out. Alright, well, that is not where we wanted to qualify. Did we have max fuel? No, we didn't. Okay, I didn't think so. I'll go and do another practice lap, it won't count, but. I thought I thought the car felt light. That's why those some of those corners were really sort of held back a bit, but Oh well. Alright, let's see what lap we could have done. Alright, there's the chicken flag. Not much quicker through there. They miss the apex. Damn, I need practice. <laughs> wow, understeer. Alright, hopefully we'll be better in the race, but right now we qualified ninth. We still didn't go faster. The best I can do apparently is a 1 7, which is absolutely useless, but. Wow. This is why, everyone, this is why I run road courses, because I am absolutely dog shit on ovals in, in, in an open wheel car. <laughs> Not too bad in a NASCAR, but that's because I've done a million laps, but man, that's bad. That is really bad. Well then, let's just hope we can survive the first three quarters. <laughs> I mean, my I rating is really high for like this split, hence why I'm the number one car. But that's because of all the stuff I do on the NASCAR side. You see, for those that don't run I racing, I uh, the 
oval license and the oval I rating basically encompasses everything that is on an oval, including whether it be open wheel or NASCAR. So, oh my God, this is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh my gosh, we're going to lose so much I rating. <laughs> back in split two, everybody. We are going back down to split two. Okay, so... Oh, it's, I thought it was 90 laps, only 80, 80 laps. Okay, so we'll, I'm not sure what the pit situation is. Uh, probably just go as long as we can and then have JRT short field the thing to the end. There is no push to pass on the ovals. Well, there was once upon a time. I don't believe there is any more. I don't believe there is an eye racing. But we're starting, <laughs> we're starting on the outside. I just feel like somebody here is just going to completely kill themselves and we're going to be the first one to greet them. But we're fucked. Two and a half tenths off the pace. That is useless. I'm going to have to follow some of these guys and hopefully learn what they're doing, which lines they're taking. I mean, in the race, you take completely different lines. You basically drive wherever the person in front of you is not. <laughs> but let's see. Let's see how many cars we can get Good through. Good ball, Ben. Uh, well, how many positions we can make. If we can make any at all. I mean, fuck me. That's <laughs> right there. That is... That is back of the pack stuff. I mean, we car one and we qualified tenth. I'm glad this is only 14 cars, or else we would have had a massive uh, uh, hi guys. Good luck issue. Everyone. Actually, I do not want to pit yet. Uh, I didn't want to do that. How's the races been this week here? Let's save some fuel. Uh, this is my second one. We did one last night, but went green the whole way, which for uh, Phoenix is pretty unheard of. Yeah, well, I hope it goes th that way this time. That would be nice. Because, yeah, as I said before, if yeah, there's a wreck, true. we are going to be the first one to greet them. at least one caution around here. Just watching these guys so I can see when everyone starts week, to pit. So I mean, starts to get on the grid because I'll one have to start from, the, fine, but it's all right. start from the pit lane. I, um... Yeah, I mean, last night was my first one, so I don't know what the rest of them have been like, but uh, they're normally pretty bad here, in the old car especially, I don't know. Let's see what it's like. Can we change the fuel? Oh wow, we can't even change the fuel. <sighs> Where's Pebst? Where's the freaking engine burning, fuel burning, blow up machine guy? Wow, these cars look so cool. I mean, look at that. That is just one heck of a machine right there. Cool paint scheme as well. But damn, these things look sick. Love these new Indy cars. I mean, following these Indy cars is like... It honestly feels no different to following like a Formula Mazda back what I used to drive. I mean, the, the wings are all the same. It's just... It's so weird. <laughs> It's like we've gone back in time, but still looks futuristic with the way the end plates sort of curve around the rear wheel. I mean, it's awesome. I just hope we don't die. I feel like we're going to die. We'll soon find out if we die. What pit? Okay, so I'm the one car, so I need to look for that pit stall. But I think one lap to the best way one to go about today is to avoid the fence, save fuel when we can, and hopefully just jump them all in the pits if we do get a group. Oh, where the fuck? Is That's a black screen right there. You can always spot when someone's screen goes black or has an update that minimizes it or something because they just sort of pull off. Green. Oh wait, we're going green first time. Shit. Usually we have two roll-up laps around here in the NASCAR. Wait, do we start in first or second? The pace car is in. Lord, help that chart. Green, green, green! Car inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Still there. Clear inside. Outside. Clear outside. Yeehaw! Oh, hot damn. This shit's crazy. Yeah, I would think whoever's in the lead here is just going to break away like easy. Oh, 
just hold station, I suppose. There's not really much more we can do right now. I really don't like shifting to fourth, but I feel like it's going to save our tyre a little bit more. Outside. Still there. Hold your line. Whoa, car inside, bros. Clear. Car outside. Clear. Inside. Still there. Hold your line. Clear oh, inside. I like that. Going to the front. The yellow flag is oh. line up single file. Depot Someone's dead. Catch the 12 Save you. Oh, please don't tell me that was the caution. It was. Uh, pace car is coming out of uh, two, one. Whatever I am. You're in two, bros. It's a caution to that guy down the apron. I would think so. Well, this is good. We are on the inside. We get pit backed road up. Now open. We're definitely gonna pit. Be stupid if you didn't pit. Wow, they're not pitting? Are you crazy? Man, if this goes green, I'm gonna overtake all of those guys. Save fuel. My pit stop's gonna be a sh... Oh, no, we still have to take tyres. Okay, that was probably a little bit stupid. <laughs> I totally forgot that the fuel takes just as long as the... T wow. I am an idiot. Okay. Probably wasn't the smartest idea, Joseph, but... Oh, well. We'll get new tyres. Oh, and that's way too far back. I know it was based off those few laps here being my first race this week. I know his track position is a must here. Line up single file. Catch the pick. Well, uh, I only lost. I feel like no uh, spots. <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows. Okay, well that's good for us. And we top off on fuel, so we won't have to worry about waiting for fuel on the pit stop if we run out. For us. Uh, everyone seems to be driving, uh, especially a short track, uh, a lot calmer than uh, I can remember in the last car. Really? I think there's two different kind of weathers. There's been a I can't take the piss out of that accent because I'm from England. <laughs> this has been a little slower. I just lo <laughs> love so um, It's so weird. In England, you I literally drive 30 minutes down the road and everyone sounds the opposite. Early. I know this is fairly hot right now. 90 degrees, what it's saying. Well, we seem to have somewhat of a better yeah, pace than the guys average. in front, so not over really one lap, but... Myself, to be honest, you just mentioned it. I just don't have, uh, I haven't done enough laps here to really figure out what line's the best, but if we can get up to the sort of top two or three, we'll be able to tell what's good and what's bad. I think if to not lose I rating, we'd need like a top four. <laughs> so hopefully we can get a couple more guys here and finish in the top five. If I can get a top five, I'd be stoked with that, but got a long way to go. I mean, we're only 10 laps into an 80-lap race. It's going to be a long, long road to the end. But if we can get a couple of green laps in, I mean, our fastest laps, 20.9, so 20-second laps. I guess one good thing about the fob, it's pretty small right now because we didn't have much people sign up. One lap to green. But there's only 13 cars left in the race, so I feel like maybe... We um, could get some green, f green flag running some 
unless someone goes and puts it in the wall by himself, which can very easily happen here. I mean, I've almost done it. Well, I've already done it in qualifying, I suppose, but... Anyhow, single file restarts in IndyCar. So you'll watch here, well, if it's anything like what the hey, old IndyCar uh, used Nathan to be like. We'll just run up against the walls so no, and pass right, on the no. outside. You can pass on the outside, provided yeah, you don't pass them before the, the light goes green. Yellow. I don't uh, know you can pass them on the outside before the get ready. restart. Alright, here we go. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. All right, so we have got new tyres. The yellow flag is out. Oh Line my up. god! File. How can you? Who? What? <laughs> How can you die? We've literally been through one corner. <laughs> like, what was that for? Like, last? Wow, man. Checking up there for the top leg. Six, car. Just keep saving fuel, I suppose. I mean, pit road is now open. So basically what will happen is we could actually just, we'll see what the tyre wear is like, but what we could do is on the green, if we get a green flag run, we could not take tyres, although I'm not sure how long tyres last. I mean, we did 10 laps then and lost 4% on the right front. And there's someone pitting in front of us that will help us up one position. So... Is that reason this week make us pit for fuel or is it more based on the tyres? <laughs> Catch the picks, car. I, I found the tyres okay this week. But so 4%, we got... I know, uh, people were complaining about the front end grip last night, but I, I personally found it okay. It's because you're in the lead, mate. You ain't feeling no fucking aero wash. <laughs> I don't know if he won that race, but whatever. Anyway, so we have got 70... We're going to have 60 laps to go, roughly. So 4%. By 10, 4 times 6 is 24. So we're going to lose 24% on the tyre. So there is, we don't need to take tyres from here. We're good on tyres to the end. If that, my calculations are correct. <laughs> so we're going to have 74%, but not taking tyres in the pit will be a huge gain because we can just splash and dash. Sorry, while well, I'll just save as much fuel as we can here. No point. I think everyone in front of us will have to take tyres at one point or another. Although I'm not sure how much fuel we're going to have to use to the end. We'll just save some tyre through this next run. I mean, we're in sixth, right? So, I mean, I just a couple more positions and we'll be set. The question is, I can either use fourth and save the fronts or leave it in fifth and save the fuel. I mean, it's like, make your pick. I mean, we or that's why I'm saving as much fuel on this caution as I can. We're definitely going to have to pit again. I don't think this will be enough fuel to get us to the end. One lap to green. I would, if this was the NASCAR, I'd probably switch the engine off, but I have done that in the past in the old IndyCar and the DW12, and it never refired, and I ended up retiring from the race. I, And ever since that moment, I thought there was an issue with my uh, steering wheel, but it turned out that it was actually just... Um, turned out that it was just the car. Sometimes it just doesn't refire, so... I thought, you know what, I'm not going to try <laughs> ever doing that again, because that was embarrassing, especially when you were in the lead. Alright, here we go. Time to get back to green. Good 
Get ready. Going green. The pace car is in. Green oh, flag, dude. green flag. Hashtag reaction time. God, look how far we are behind the leader. Can't get any closer, it's basically just line of stern. I mean, this is my first time running on a short track in any form of IndyCar, so. Learning as we go. through the cones, holy shit.
that was too close for comfort. That's the line right there, just gotta hit it. The faster you go, the more downforce you have. It's basically the way it works. could make it to the end here.
spinning this time. You're in fourth position. Good job. Alright, so we got two and a half gallons per lap. I mean, the lead is pitting now. Two five. You're now in third. I'm pitting with time. The next car's the leader. The leader's fitting now. That car's a lap down. Okay, you're in second. The car outside. Clear outside. The next car's the leader. Alright, we're just going to be short, I think I've just worked it out, so we'll splash and dash at the end, like I said I was in the beginning. We're about four laps short, I believe. Thanks, David. Oh no, I wish I could have some fucking fuel saving modes available to me. Car inside. Clear inside. That car's a lap down. That car's a lap down. Outside. That car's a lap down. 20 more laps. Clear outside. Actually, maybe we've got more than 24 laps. I've started to save. Probably should have started saving a little bit earlier, really. Not using fourth anymore.
Thank you. Surprised the 12 car hasn't pitted yet. Maybe he. I think he pitted the same time we did. I can't remember. We're going to have the lead. Problem is we've got the two the car catching up now. and catching fast. You've got ten laps to go. You're in first. Good job. Alright, ten laps to go. We've got fourteen. Oh my god, he's catching up and he's catching quick. Here he comes. <laughs> Fight for the win. Problem is we're now going to be stuck behind the that seven car. Down. 
get out the way. Car outside. I oh, we got three laps to go. No way we're going to win this on fuel strategy. It would be a classic freaking indie fix race if we did that. You got two laps to go. You got about five laps of fuel left. I think we saved enough. Last lap. One more lap to win. Oh, easy now. Oh my god, what? We qualified 10th. Three tenths off the pace. And we won on fuel strategy. Yes! <laughs> you there, Joseph. Awesome job. Good uh, podium there, Brett. Bad luck to uh, a lot of fast horses. Yeah, thanks, mate. I was really surprised when no one pitted on that first caution. I knew I'd... You could get to the end from there possibly. I was just surprised no one else pitted. Wow. That was crazy. Uh, good win, Joseph. Um, I was going to pit on there, but I thought we'd probably have another caution. But I was wrong. Yeah, I know. I definitely lucked out big time. <laughs> okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. Uh, good win, buddy. Cheers mate, you were definitely the quickest today, you'll get him in the next one. I just, I, I had no pace, I had to try something off strategy. Yeah, I'm learning the hard way this week. Oh man, what a win. Jesus, I can't, I just can't, this is my first ever race on a short track. I did 10 minutes of practice. Holy crap. Alright, well that's definitely one awesome way to start the IndyCar weekend. We'll go and run the uh, the IndyCar road side of things here in a sec in at Sebring. Unfortunately, we don't have quite enough pace to be in the front, but we have done some work on the setup since uh, last practice or the last race, so hopefully we can do something a little bit decent there tonight which will hopefully be uploaded sometime tomorrow. But, yeah, no, this was an awesome fun race. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. I think we've got 0.7 of a gallon left of fuel, so we just sort of trickled along the or across the line in the end. But, no, that was really fun, and I just I had no idea how I won that race. That was crazy. All right, guys, until next time, I'll catch you later.